<laughs> Yellowstone has made its roaring return, and I must say, the spectacle was nothing short of monumental, capturing viewers like never before. This season, from the very first episode, the show has not only shattered ratings, but sent waves across the fan base with plot twists that have stirred up excitement, outrage, and everything in between. And let's face it. Yellowstone was already a powerhouse, a show that had grown into a cultural phenomenon over the years. <laughs> Yet, with this record-breaking comeback, it feels like the stakes have been raised to an entirely new level. What's fascinating is how this season dives headfirst into a darker, almost Shakespearean path. The Dutton family saga has always been gripping, but now it has this added depth, a combination of ruthless politics, betrayal, and that ever-present fight for power that keeps us on the edge of our seats. And at the heart of it all, this season delivers a jaw-dropping shock. John Dutton, a character who has been the very bedrock of the series, is no longer with us. <laughs> yes, Kevin Costner's departure marked the end of an era, and the character's death was nothing if not dramatic. But the way it was done, so abrupt, so brutal, it almost felt like a plot twist straight out of a Greek tragedy. A shocking turn, yes, but it also signals the end of the old guard and the rise of a new wave within the Yellowstone narrative. Now, we've all heard the murmurings and seen the heated discussions unfold online. Fans are divided, some are devastated, others furious, and then there are those who feel like this was simply the inevitable direction the story had to go. But no matter where you stand, it's hard to deny that Yellowstone knows exactly how to stir the pot. And it's not just about the characters or the storylines, it's about how the show mirrors the real struggles we see around power, legacy, and what it means to protect what's ours. John Dutton's death, orchestrated by the cunning Sarah Atwood, adds this intense layer of betrayal and underscores the idea that in the world of Yellowstone, no one is truly untouchable. What's particularly intriguing about this turn is that it's not only a bold narrative choice, it's also a practical one for the series creators. Kevin Costner, as many of you know, had been facing some personal and professional challenges that affected his continued presence in the series. For the Yellowstone team, this was the perfect opportunity to propel the storyline forward, even if it meant sacrificing a beloved character. It's almost as if this move was a reminder that the Dutton Empire, like any empire, is vulnerable, both to external threats and the chaos within its own ranks. This season isn't just about shocking twists, though. There's this profound exploration of legacy of who will carry the torch and what Yellowstone, as a family empire, will look like without John's steady, if sometimes ruthless, hand at the helm. The other members of the Dutton family, each complex in their own right, are now facing a reckoning of sorts. With John gone, they're left to contend with their own ambitions, rivalries, and personal battles. Who will step up and who will falter? Who will protect the legacy and who will risk it all for personal gain? These questions are what drives the tension this season and make it feel like a true swan song for the series. And yet, as we look toward the conclusion of Yellowstone, there's this lingering sense of what next. The idea of an end, of finality, is powerful. But is it really the end? Some cast members have hinted that the story of Yellowstone might not be as final as we think. Perhaps there's room for spin-offs, or a continuation of this universe in new forms. After all, a story as vast and layered as Yellowstone's doesn't simply vanish. It morphs, adapts, maybe finds new ways to captivate us. There's something poetic in this evolution, a story about family, land, and legacy now itself becoming a part of television history. Yellowstone has shown us that a family drama can be raw, unapologetic, and unflinchingly dark. It's pulled in massive audiences, bringing a gritty, modern Western into the mainstream in a way that feels almost revolutionary. And as we see the series wrap up, there's this bittersweet anticipation in the air. Yes, we're excited to see how the Dutton family saga ends, but there's also a sense of loss, Yellowstone has become more than just a TV show. It's become a part of our cultural landscape, a story that resonates with anyone who's ever fought to protect something they hold dear. 
So, where does that leave us as we dive into the rest of the season, on the edge of our seats undoubtedly? Every episode promises more drama, more heartbreak, and perhaps a few final surprises. The record-breaking viewership numbers reflect not just the power of the show, but the power of storytelling that strikes a chord with audiences on such a profound level. And as we, the fans, ride this journey to the end, we are reminded of the timeless appeal of the Western genre, of stories that dig into the human spirit, that show us both the beauty and brutality of life. Yellowstone might be concluding, but the questions it raises, the themes it explores, and the characters it's given us will undoubtedly linger in the minds of its fans for years to come. And as we await each new episode, there's this thrill in knowing we're witnessing the conclusion of a story that will stand as one of television's most impactful narratives. The Duttons have shown us grit, resilience, and the complex bonds that define family. And as this chapter closes, we're left with a sense of gratitude for the wild ride Yellowstone has taken us on. Don't forget to hit the comments and let me know how you feel about John Dutton's shocking exit. Are you devastated, thrilled, or somewhere in between? And if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and keep up with us for more takes on the biggest stories in entertainment. As always, more details are in the description. Keep the conversation going.